Here are five tips that you can use to make sure that you never ever procrastinate again. Number one, use the 15 minute rule. The 15 minute rule is where you give yourself 15 minutes to at least get started on your task. If you don't complete the task within 15 minutes, at least you've made progress. There's also the chance that since you have some momentum, you may want to finish the process anyway, and therefore you will complete the task that you used to procrastinate on. Number two, you need to focus on only one specific thing at a time. When we multitask, we tend to procrastinate more often. By breaking down your tasks so that you can only focus on one thing at a time, it's all about making progress in order to get a bigger project completed versus thinking everything needs to be done at once. Just focus on one thing at a time. Number three, avoid perfectionism. A lot of times we don't get started with our task because we know that if we can't complete it and it's perfect, then we don't want to start it at all. However, this is the wrong approach if you ever want to approve and get more done. You need to actually just get started and you can learn on, you can work on being better as you progress, but you need to actually make progress so that you can see how you can become more of a perfectionist. No action at all will not make you a perfectionist. Number four, have someone else hold you accountable. The best thing you can do is have someone know what your goals are and give them a goal to hold you accountable if you don't do what you're going to you say you're going to do. For example, I could promise you all that I'm going to post one video every day for 30 days and if someone notices on my channel that I do not post a video, you need to reach out to me, ask me what's going on, how come I missed the video the previous day and put me back on track if I'm not there. This is literally one of the biggest strategies to help you not procrastinate over time because when you know someone else is kind of worried about what you're doing and it's not just you, that added pressure can be beneficial to some people. Five, remember that overcoming procrastination is going to take time and effort. Overall, you need to stay consistent and never give up on your goals. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these tips seem like it's going to be the most helpful for you to stop procrastinating forever. And also, don't forget to share this video with someone else who, think, who you think can benefit from hearing this.